So the potential for this worshiping experience that you're going to be walking into is, I mean, it's, it's one of the most inspiring things I've ever witnessed and been part of, which is, I think, the, the reason why I'm still Quaker, you know, with all the things that I struggle with or whatever. It's that potential is what keeps us there. But the potential is this thing that we call a, um, a gathered meeting or a covered meeting. So if I was to describe what a gathered meeting is, I feel like I first need to talk a little bit about the purpose of meeting for worship. It's, it's response, human response to divine initiative. But in a Quaker meeting for worship, when it's not individual meditation or individual prayer, it's really a communal mystical experience, an opportunity for the group as a whole to encounter the divine presence in our midst. So the gathered meaning for worship describes a quality that might be achieved in a meeting for worship in which the body is gathered together, sort of, I, I'm, I imagine these sort of arms of the Holy Spirit, the arms of God gathering us together. A gathered meeting, in, in my experience, uh, is one where all of our openness to the Spirit and therefore our availability to each other unites and there's a communion. There's literally a, a communion of Spirit in the room. And you can feel it. And it feels as though the air gets thick and the silence has a quality about it that is very, very different. Um, it's almost like you could cut it with a knife. For me, a gathered meeting is when we, as a community, are together and um, very strongly feel the presence of God, Spirit, in the room. We start to become more sensitive to the folks around us um, and their process and what they're going through. And then, like, as that as that communication, that nonverbal communication increases, um, there starts to be this, this emerging presence in the center of the room. There's also a tendering aspect of it where the mem individual members become closer to one another as they are gathered up together closer to God. There's this feeling like you are not just you, that you are with and are maybe with those other people. And the way that you, you start feeling that and experiencing that is that what is being shared, it's like it's your own heart that's being shared out loud, but you're not even the one sharing it. And then you're seeing from just the people's reactions or you know maybe their face, maybe their body language, that it's actually resonating with those around you too. There comes to this, this point where your will starts to kind of bend in the direction of that presence. Um, up until that point, you, you feel like you're in control and you're the one that's processing what's going on and you're the one that's making decisions about the content of your mind or you're making decisions about um, what your prayer looks like and, and things like that. But then something happens, something shifts, something emerges that... Um, you're not in control anymore, and, and there's just a gravity that you start to circle around. It's just an act of grace that, that we can all just fall into something that is effortless, that is not about any of the things that we do to try and make something happen in our worship experience or in our relationship with God. We just fall into the arms of God together. I can feel uh, a subtle vibration uh, in my body and throughout the room. And it's deeply nourishing, deeply, deeply nourishing um, and wonderful. It's maybe like you're listening to a, a really loud music and it's kind of this vibrating and everyone's there feeling it. And um, so that inspiration is being shared and it's your heart and it's out there. And then maybe someone else will stand 
and it's your heart again, but in this other level. And then you guys are building this wisdom, this shared experience, this like you've come to get together and you're being carried as a one whole forward into something that wasn't there before. Um, and I don't know why that happens sometimes or how it happens, um, but it's a little like, um, like Alice into the rabbit hole. Like you just some stumble on it and, and fall um, and you're in something different that you didn't know was there, which is a powerful thing to get to experience. Mm -hmm.